Villa will spend money. They, they've just history tells you that over the last 24, 48 months, they spend money. What yeah. could Gerard do with that? <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Sour Soccer. It's another managerial change in the Premier League and it's a big one. Steven Gerrard is making the trip down south to the Midlands, the West Midlands, to Aston Villa. This, yep. Scott, is a bad day to be a Wolves fan. It is, isn't it? Obviously, as to being Wolves fans... Um... And a general channel, so make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Quickly get that in. Uh, yeah, we, we 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 need something to help this pain. <laughs> I mean, it's just unbelievable, isn't it? I think it's um it's such a great managerial appointment, um, and I just can't. In some ways, I can't wait to see what Steven Gerrard actually does. But then the other part wow. of me is going to find it very very painful at the same time. I love Steven Gerrard. Mm. You know, growing up. He was my favourite player, probably still is. Um, just, I just idolised him, like absolutely idolised him. And the fact he's done so well at Rangers and the fact he's going to... It, it, it actually hurts. Like we can laugh at Villa right now because we're pushing for top six and they're fighting relegation and all this. But with the money that they've got to spend... Let's, let's talk about Gerard first, about what he's done at Rangers and... I mean, they're top again right now. Yeah. Um, they're four points clear of Celtic. They're six points clear of Hearts in a third. They've only lost one game this season, I think, out of 13 in the league. A couple of draws. He wins the league again after, what, nine or ten years. And not only that, it's arguably the greatest title-winning team in Scotland ever. Unbeaten. You've got to think as well, Scott, with the amount of points that he got in that Rangers title winning team, I think he won the league with like seven or eight games to go. And that desire to still not lose a game, to say, no, we're going to push, we're going to push. I'm so I'm so nervous about Villa now. I mean, as you say, he's basically the Scottish League Arsene Wenger, isn't he? That's essentially <laughs> what, that's what I'm, that's what I'm that's, calling him. That's some compliment. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, in all seriousness, I think I think with it being the Scottish League and obviously Celtic's downfall, I think, uh, you know, people always find a reason to kind of downplay that. But if for those that do want to downplay it, you've only got to look what he's done in, you know, the, the Europa League. He's got them to the knockout stages. He's done well, pretty well in, you know, every time when they've got to the Europa League. But when Rangers got sent to the third division, Celtic weren't going unbeaten. They weren't mm. score, uh, getting 95 points, 90 points. So what? It takes a mentality, doesn't it? It takes a, it takes to build a complete team mentality to go a full season unbeaten. Never to have a bad day. Never really take your eye off the ball. Especially, as you said, once the title's already won. There wasn't any of that, was there? And I think to go and do that, that's just that shows a real um, testament to how he pulls a team together and probably how he's going to pull Villa together and get everyone raring and going. There's not going to be any more of this kind of the shadow of Jack Grealish and what they've lost. It's going to be very much now yeah. about what they have and pushing yeah. towards what they can do with that team. And it is a very good team. It is a fantastic team. They've got, um, you know, there's a few positions where they might look to improve. I think definitely, the you know, the left backs, right back, uh, that could look to improve there personally, from my view. But the rest Central of the midfield team, as well. Yeah, the midfield possibly too. And I think think we'll move on to that because I feel like Gerard will probably need a few different players compared to what they currently have for to make his yeah. um, the way he plays work. But it's a very good team, and it's one that should be challenging at least the top half of the table, really. I believe so. As a Wolves fan, I think Villa should be with that squad. I know their depth isn't brilliant and we know a thing or two about that as Wolves fans. You look at the bench some weeks and you go, oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, that, that is the thing, yeah. That starting eleven, if fit, now I know it's not easy because, you know, Danny Ings played with injuries in his career, but if they can keep him fit, get him scoring again. And let's not forget, with Gerard, I've always said this. We did a video way back in, I think, April or, or May talking about Gerard. 
his interviews, he comes across incredibly. Apparently, tactically, he's a very good. He's very meticulous. He looks at every detail on the opposition, his own team. Let's also not forget he's still probably one of the best midfielders in the Premier League. I don't care what anyone tells me. <laughs> Apparently, he's so good on the training field that he can actually show them what, what he wants. What <laughs> You know, a bit like how we spoke about um, uh, Frank Lampard potentially getting the Norwich job. Um, he will be able to pass on what he knows. So will Gerard. And you've got to think, Villa will spend money. They, they've just history tells you that over the last 24, 48 months, they spend money. What could yeah. Gerard do with that? I think it'll be fantastic. I mean, going back to the way Gerard's played at Rangers, he's either played a four. 4-2-3-1, or he's also, yeah. also played a 4-3-3. Three, three. Um, and yeah. what he'll look to do is he'll look to have quick wingers, which will take on players. We know that, uh, you know, Villa definitely have that in Traore. They've also got that in um, Bailey as well. And they also like to get, uh, he, he, with Wayne Rangers, he also uh, tried to make the wing backs advance up the pitch and overtake the wingers. You reckon that could definitely work? I think where there's going to be need for investment is that centre mid position because obviously when you've got wing backs uh, advancing, especially when you're playing a back four, he did use his midfield sometimes to be that kind of stable part. And I think that's something that he'll probably target and probably need to adjust his style until he perhaps get that gets that in. But what I pulled on there, the main thing I want to pull on there, for such a young manager, he had two different ways of playing, two different formations. but And... It, you know, it just showed that he's not a rigid manager. And that's why I think Villa fans should be really excited because, as you said, he I think he'll come in, he'll look at his squad and then yeah. he'll he'll be able to apply the best formation and the best. And it's 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 attacking ability as well of the uh, of his Rangers team. I imagine that will come in well for Villa too. Absolutely. And it's not just about having the bottle to play two different formations the fact that they the, the, the team played those formations so well. They knew their jobs, whether it was uh, a back four with the wing, uh, so the four backs pushing on, whether it was having three sitting midfielders just to protect the back, uh, uh, the two centre-backs. The players knew what they were doing. You look at Oli, one week he's playing a 4-3-3, could be a 4-5-1. Now he's M5. going to uh, five at the back, it could be a 4-2-3-1. They don't know what they're doing, but Gerard's changing formation, whether it's uh, squad rotation for the Europa League or whether it's league, the players know what they're doing. And I think it's just because his attention to detail from what I've read and what I've heard players say about him, it's it's up there with the best. Scott, let's talk about this um sadly from a Wolves point of view, because we talked we touched on this at the very start of the video. And we did a video, what, earlier this week talking about the sacking of Dean uh, and who could come in to replace him. And yeah. I made no bones about it. And I said, if Villa get Gerard, I would be looking over my shoulder as a Wolves fan. And I completely agree. And I think as a Wolves fan, I currently am. I, I, I am too. I mean, you look at Villa and there's this argument about they're in a relegation battle almost, but... You've got to look at the table in general. After 11 games, I can't remember a, a Premier League uh, being this close in general. And as you say, we've currently got our eyes as Wolves fans on the top seven. We actually only sit six points above Villa currently uh, yeah. with a, a bit better goal difference. But obviously that can change. There's not too much in it. And, you know, you're looking from 16th where Aston Villa are. Yes, they're only two points above relegation. But there are still, and it's very, very early days, only seven points off six. So you feel if Gerard comes in and really hits the ground running, and it goes with every single Premier League team at the moment, whichever Premier yeah. League team is able to start going on a good run, there's definitely room for, uh, you know, the European places. But I think even if Villa, you know, he comes in and maybe even secures a top 10 finish or just shows a different mentality because from what we got, uh, the kind of flavour we got back from the Villa fans regarding Smith as he, he'd gone a bit stale, there was a bit of a hoof ball. You're definitely not going to get that with Gerard. And um, yeah, definitely as a Wolves fan, I'm looking over my shoulder. It'd be fair to say over the last few years, we've perhaps had more of the bragging rights when it comes to the whole Midlands talk, apart from yeah. well, West Midlands talk. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm a bit more nervous now. I, I completely agree with everything that you've said. You've got to remember, um, you cast your minds back after three or four games in the league this season. We'd won none 
Um, you know, it was only the win against, uh, was it Watford? I think was our first victory away at Vicarage Road. Um, yeah. We went from 18th to 7th in five games or six games or something like that. So it can happen. And this, rele- I know we laugh at Villa now or oh, you're fighting relegation. And I, listen, I've been dishing it out because for so long, many, for many years, they were the better team. So it's only fair. But they could easily, if you win three games, Villa, you, you probably go to ninth if you win yeah, exactly, three yeah. games. I think, I think- I mean, the best example of that at the moment is the fact that of Arsenal, they were bottom of the league, Arteta was on his way out, then Arteta yeah. delivers a manager of the month performance and uh, they continued on that and now they're sitting, is it, is it they're sitting in uh, fifth now, fifth. aren't they? Fifth place, so... Oh, fifth, yeah, fifth. Yeah, they're sure. really in the mix. Um, but yeah, it's. I mean, it's such a... It just shows how quick this Premier League can turn around. I think the one thing that I did want to pick up on with this appointment, the only negative is... You just hope for a Villa fan's perspective. This, this isn't just about Steven Gerrard getting into the Premier League to put himself in the shop window at Liverpool. And I'd be interested to know what Villa fans think about this because obviously Jurgen Klopp, he's been at Liverpool for a long time. There's been a bit of a lack of investment as well. You do wonder, not now, but perhaps in the next two, three years, um, will Jurgen Klopp maybe think, well, I've done everything I can? And at that point, if Steven Gerrard's done well, will the exact same thing happen where Liverpool come in for him and the way, same way that uh, he's moved from Rangers to Villa, could the same happen again? Um, and you just hope, you'd hope as a Villa fan that isn't the case, but you, I'd be interested to know from Villa fans, would they accept it if maybe they've got two, three really good years out of him? That's that's how I look at it. I don't think, because if, if Liverpool are going to sniff around Gerrard, let's say in two or three years' time, Liverpool are not going to just get Gerard. I think, like how Chelsea got Frank. And under different yeah. circumstances, Chelsea got Frank because of the transfer embargo, losing Hazard. No one was going to go there, really. Liverpool aren't just going to get Gerard to make the fans happy and sell a few season tickets or a few shirts. It's not going to happen. If Gerard is in the line, uh, is in line for that Liverpool job in two years, four years, five years. He must have done something pretty special at Villa. And what does that mean? Villa could be in Europe. Maybe he wins him an FA Cup. Maybe he gets him eighth, eighth, seventh, three or four years. And, you know, so what what do Villa fans want? Gerard to be there for the next 10 years? The way I look at that, like, if someone said to me now, I love Bruno for Wolves, but oh, Man City are going to get him in five years, I'm thinking, oh, if Man City are taking him, where, where, what's happened to Wolves? What have we, yeah, what have we won? <laughs> what, what, have we won the Champions League by now then? That, that's the way I look at it. So I, a bit like players, they say it about players, oh, he's only come here so he can go to a big club. Well, he must have done pretty well for you. That, that's how I would look at it if I was a Villa fan. Yeah, I'd definitely be interested to see, uh, you know, know what Villa fans themselves think of that. Um, Let us know. Yeah. I mean, all in all, it's an absolutely positive, uh, positive uh, appointment. I think I'm just trying to find some negative from somewhere. I don't think there really is one, to be honest. But um, Villa fans, come on, you must be happy. We'll let you have your moment. But whilst you have your moment, also hit that subscribe button as well to help us out. We deserve it. We deserve it. And we shall see you on the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>